Both teams come into this game on a two-game win streak after losing their first two games of the season. Greg Stottlemyre here the play-by-play. Jim Tyree will analyze the action. Greg, both of these teams have veteran quarterbacks. They've been accurate and productive in their recent wins. Robert Morris is Anthony Chick at the Redshirt Senior. 70% completion rate. Are you kidding me? But you've got to keep an eye on their running backs, too. Jenkins, a left-footed cook kicker. The senior sends it to Montgomery, who comes all the way from the right to the left. Needs a block through the middle, finds it, and then they close it down, and it's just like a touchback as EKU will begin their scrimmage from the 25-yard line as we're underway. A game in a row. Snap to Morrissey on third and a bunch. He's in trouble, avoids a sack. Not looking downfield, now sets and throws downfield. Open receiver caught at the 40, and from behind they get him as the tackle is made by Jacquez Warren, and it was Marcus trying to catch Robert Morris off target. From the 34, Morrissey in the pocket, throws wide open receiver Brown, the Pennsylvanian who played at St. Francis, and the Colonels are goal to go as he takes it down to the eight yard line. So Barrelis met. Packed in formation, just one wide receiver, first ground carry, Carter, and he carries a couple of Colonials to the six yard line. For Second down and goal from the six. Carter around the right side. Does he have the speed? The answer is yes, and the Colonels put six on the board inside the first three minutes of the game as Carter has now scored a rushing touchdown. He took a while, but it just shows you how patient the EKE running backs have been this season. Watch him wait, wait, wait. Then he turns on the Jets to get away from the linebacker and get around the nation. Bangs home the extra point at Eastern Kentucky has a 7-0 lead here on Robert Morris. We'll be back for the kickoff after this. 7-0 EKU on an opening drive. It'll be a throw. Good protection. Check it, lets it fly over everybody. The pressure again coming hot and heavy by the defensive line. It was Bateman 19th best net punting in FCS and you can Whoa. see why that's got rocket fuel in it Montgomery backing up over the shoulder at the 20 but room to run he's over the 35 he's over the 40 bangs off an RMU player all the way to the 45 maybe 46 yard line after a booming 52 yard their side Morrissey looks on the slant caught with traffic for the first down good delivery there to Daquan Stanley who's coming off a two touchdown day or no, Bryant Johnson make that 17 not night. Third down and 17 near midfield. For Morris, a pressure from the edge. He'll dump it underneath and it's picked off almost and dropped. That's why he's a big lineman and not a receiver. It was in and out of the hands of David Johnson. Boy, he bumbled it and stumps out on third down conversions. Got a pass, check it, in trouble, hit as he throws, but he got a man and got the first down out. It caught it to 20, moved forward to the 22. Running back, starts left, cuts right, gets the first down, drags three curdles with him to shy of the 35-yard line. Vito Tisdale, the first there, and you see the elusive shiftiness. In. One, two, three, four, five up on the line for EKU, and they fake the handoff left, roll right throw for a first down. Tisdale's helmet comes pelting off near midfield. Just catches him in the backfield, and he's still able to get the chicken. Now they're third down and eight. Trying to convert here for the second time at a drive that started at their own five down by a touchdown. Chicken got it out to the back who is covered up well as Edmonds leaked out left at EK. And at 20 to go in period number one for Morrissey to throw. From the goal line, waiting, 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 back into the end zone, adjusting, adjusting, throwing it out of the tackle box incomplete. His helmet comes off. Somebody buy these guys a chin strap. <laughs> Now and I'm the one. quarterback pressure was by Hearn for a touchdown against Mississippi State. He got that one off and a good boomer. Sending the returner back to the 40, but there's 30 yards of room for him to run, and he'll take it down to the Colonel 38 on a nice return by Tayshawn Howard. And a flag is down as well. Feastern. Holding. Return team. Number 22. That 10-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the kick. First down. That's Del Vecchio Powell, the backup running back. Play. Third down, eight yards, and they're not going to get much. Or third down and two, I should say. 
They moved it enough for the first down, or did they? Let's wait. Flat on this. Originally in motion, they look away from him, off to the left, and it's incomplete due to the quarterback pressure. It looked like Darian Baker had his second pressure of the day. So I'm a little bit more analytic that way. David Plunglass, the uh, defensive coordinator, linebacker coach, got to be happy the way his team is batting down the hatches after early on here. Morrissey throwing long downfield, a little arm fighting, and it's incomplete. That was great coverage all the way to where your starter at snapper. The roll and rugby this one. So it won't be as long, but better coverage taken at the 45 on territory. And the first coverage guy overran things, and it was taken from their own 45, 12 yards downfield to the Colonel 43 after a 42-yard factor. One man in motion, check it to throw near side. Got a receiver, his favorite Robinson out there. And Robinson will get the full 10 unless he stepped out just short of the yard to gain. Marsh running a golden opportunity for the Colonials. Down a touchdown, check it, quick pass. Oh, a bobble, but a catch, and he lunges for the first down. Great drive and nowhere to go by Wilson. Or 9%, we see Edmonds carry the football. He's at a pistol behind Chickett, seven nothing EKU. Back to play we go, man in motion. Big run by Edmonds. Finally lasso down by Jaheim Ward, start transfer. Swing a pass out to the right. They're looking for the double pass. Got a man wide open in the end zone. Did he make the catch? He did. Touchdown, Noah Robinson. Colonel defense got there late. And there is another Colonel upset with the official and Jaheim Ward that he thought he got held. And Robert Morris with it, a PAT at 9.59 at tying this with a little razzle-dazzle on the throw by Sean Charles. Out of the backfield, it's definitely a lateral behind the play, throws it into the end zone. Cheating up that time was Tisdale, and he's a little late getting back on the seven. And we are knotted in Richmond between the Colonials and the Colonels. In 10, they're two of five today, new quarterback in at Herget. See what he can do, he rarely passes, but he scrambles, and he's got running room, and that's what he's most dangerous at. He saw that the pocket was collapsing and he scoots his way all the way up to his own 40. Trips to the left, one to the right, ball near hash right for Herget. Sets it a pocket, scrambles left. Doesn't need a block, he needs a lot of running room. He's at the 50. Now it's decision time for Walt Wells. Cowwise in motion, Herget to throw. Setting in the pocket, scrambling right, in trouble. Nothing opening up and he throws it away. Ooh. That does you no good and that comes to a dead end as Herget slaps his hands together and he get the quarterback, send a man in motion, keep it on the ground, fake. Now throw it out to Edmonds who leaks out of the backfield. He'll make the catch and get the first down. And they're down to the Colonel 42 yard line as they come. Send a man in motion in Ridgely. Snap to Chick at great protection. He'll take off and run. Couldn't get him, he'll get the first down. And then a targeting potential there against Jaheim Ward. And it comes at a safety. on the field of targeting has been confirmed. 15 yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the run. Number nine is disqualified. Hey, check it into the face of the Colonel defense. Third and 35, they'll throw underneath, caught. Not much for DJ Moyer, and EKU rips him down at the 34. Now do you go for it for fourth and long or with the wind at the back? Do you go to Jason Jenkins who's only tried one field goal all year long. Cowwise to the right and sets up. Morrissey, third and seven, back to pass. Escapes, escapes, throws, middle of the field, complete. First down, it's Hunter Brown. Little crossing pattern from the tight end, able to beat the first down. Again, all three timeouts, they'll give the ball to Carter. Start, stop, start again, gets up the middle, good running room, and taken down inside Robert Morris territory, just ahead of the 50-yard line. That'll be a time. We'll try it again. Same formation. Three to the right, one to the left to pass this time. Morrissey across the middle, complete. Making the catch is, Mar or pardon me, it'll be Jacob Horn. Able to convert one back deep in their own territory. Morrissey, time to throw this time underneath. Able to get it complete. And this time it's Jacob Dixon makes his first catch of the game. And it's good for left and Carter in the backfield. 
on his left tip. He'll take the snap, back to throw. Looks, looks, able to hit Dixon again at the 10-yard line down inside the 10 as he is taken down at the not convert. And they gave the ball back to the Colonels. Now the Colonels knocking on the door in the red zone. Handoff, Carter in the middle to the six, and that is all. And time, Morrissey waits on the snap, going to throw. Steps back, got time into the end zone, into the corner. It is knocked away. Intended, I believe, for Dixon again. Six, Morrissey, no backs. Yes, check that. Carter, pressure collapses and he'll make it back possibly to the seven yard line it's going to be a sack i believe robert moore's pressure all over the place give the yarder for patrick nations to see if the colonels can take the lead with two seconds left here in the first half snaps called for down nations puts it up and through and the colonels have taken the lead 10 to 7 as time expires on the first half it's been a closely matched first half between robert moore Left-footed kicker out of South Carolina. And it doesn't look like it, Jim. He has <laughs> taken every one this year, except one where he kicked from his uh, own 20 into the end zone. And only oh, two, one has been really returned. Two to had the ball. They were third and 35 after getting to the red zone. They're third and 20 at their own 15 here for Chicket. Chicket will throw it underneath, and it's bobbled and dropped. It wouldn't have gone for a first down anyway as they try to go to D.J. Moyer, the redshirt junior from Winston, 57. The Colonels start from the 25. The other way, left to right for Morrissey. Morrissey double pumps, throws, caught, high pointed at the 38 for a Colonel first down to Daquan. Daquan had at that drive at the end of the first half. Stretch handoff, Carter hunting, getting outside right 40, 45 midfield, and they'll move the chains. Andy Richmond, the offensive coordinator, and his, there's what Carter's done. Will they go to him here? Probably not in third and seven. The answer, no. Good block in the edges. Morrissey rolling right, looking. He's got to take off. He will find some first down marker, and they move the chains. Did he stay in bounds? Thought he may have hit the white, but I gave up on the play. Watch as he gets out of the pocket, coming to the right, doesn't see anything, now decides to run. But watch the shoulder, boom, oh, tie ropes it, and just gets down. What a smart play by Morris. Side him up for the circus. Carter coming left, finds a gap. He's loose, 10, 5, put 6 on the board for the home team, and they lead 16-7. Carter's got a two-touchdown day going. Extra yards. Watch this open up. They pull from the right to the left. They pulled two offensive linemen, one of them O'Brien Jackson, the other one in John Stone from the center position. Pull them to the left, and it opens up like the Sea of Galilee. At South Alabama, here is Nations. Got a perfect day going at all facets at EKU. D penalized and ejected for a targeting. Third and three, they're going to go to the air, and they go underneath to the dangerous Edmonds, and he just camped in that little pocket there, and they get the first down out over the 40-yard line, and they only needed the 34. McGowan, seven, they converted earlier. Check it, deep drop, plenty of time, incomplete as the pocket began to collapse. He tried to come out to Landon Lucas. Who transferred in from Fresno City College. Yeah, Chicken gets up. News are uh, cut off, and nobody can cut back against the grain. Latham has three yards of rushing today on six carries. Hadn't been his day. Third in a bunch. Morrissey hangs in a pocket. Dangerous throw. Incomplete. Wow. Pinned him back to the five. The rest of them, he's been near or in the end zone the other way. He needs a boomer here. They send three at him, and he mishit this badly. Well, Baker's been so good the last three games after a tough debut as the outside receiver right now. They overload left. Check it looking left all the way now over the middle and incomplete. Got turned around and the umpire got dumped in the play. He's been in the way all day. Second down and one. We'll see if they go right back to the same guy, Carter. The answer, yes, through a hole. He did a little gallop over a defender and got it all the way out to the 40-yard line. The younger brother, 100, both two and two. Sam Carter out of the backfield on a wheel move. Now Morrissey over the middle. Nobody marks Stanley. Stanley breaks a tackle at the 30. Stanley cuts over the middle. There's Greengrass. There's the 10. There's the 5. There's 6 on the board. The third touchdown in the last two weeks for Daquan Stanley. Catch and run. 
And an overall longest play by a receiver for uh, all season so far for the Colonels. He makes a couple of men miss. The foot tackle doesn't happen. And then he, does, he, he reverses field. They all think he's going to go to the left side, so they all angle the tackle that way. Here's Nations for the PAT. It's good. And EKU from a 7-7. Fairly regularly. I think twice yeah. is what I, I looked up research. All right, they'll start from the 25. And they've got the quarterback bottled up, but he'll take off and run. And there is green space. As they started at their own 25, it looked like Bailey overround a potential sack. And eight tackles today. Third down and eight from their own 43 for check it on the pattern. Right to left, one missed tackle, but EKU pins him in with other defenders going east and west. Offensive coordinator coached him. Morrissey avoids a tackle, takes off, needs a first down, gets much more. It's been the best running game of his college career as he takes it all the way out to the 47. Aggressive and maybe a little over aggressive. Had his longest two runs as a college Division I player, 27 and 23. Colonels move the chains. Could be the last play of the quarter, and it will be on a throw underneath between the numbers and hashes. It is caught by Johnson, and that 125 yards. Look at what he's done here on the ground, though. His best two runs ever as a college player, and he'll scramble left and throw to Brown, the tight end. Get out of Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, against the Pennsylvania school. Just opened the fourth quarter, 24-7 EKU, trying to go 4-0 all time against RMU. Latham, Latham, a little hop skip left and right and then cuts it up field on first down and 10 15. What can they do here? It's been a big part of the game while the opponents are 4 of 13. Morrissey, can he convert? He's got an open receiver. It's caught at the 15 and carried goal to go as Eastern Kentucky took it downfield. Goal to go, leading 24 7 early in the fourth. Morrissey into the teeth of a win, throwing open receiver, touchdown, Colonels. Bryant Johnson Jr. with the touchdown. That's his first as a colonel out of Cincinnati, Winton Woods High School. Little post pattern in the end zone, and he's able to get free. I think a little shoulder shake, too, to get free as he moves to the post. Wow, took, knew he was going to take the hit, too, and took a big hit. Game in his 126th of his career, and he splits the yellow sticks. It's all Eastern Kentucky. Second down and 10. Play action, chicken throw, tight end, got it as it kind of sucked the Colonels in on the play action, and they got to the tight end, Cole Mitchell. Charles to Robinson. Chicken turns left, now right, throws it downfield. They get behind a Colonel, fingertip catch. Guess who? Robinson again. And they are goal to go. He trips to the right. They go from the left hash from the 10. Back of the end zone, incomplete. Well covered Thomas, but they say he got Jersey. The field uh -oh. judge with a flag. I think it's a right call. Yeah. yeah. It looked like he was stretching the jersey out a little bit. He he had actually gotten the eye for Chicken to cut into the 31-7 lead. Man in motion. They throw out to the right side, and that blows up on him for a negative play to Robinson. And it was Thomas making sure Roy Kidd would be happy. That's what EKU won of their championships. They'll roll the quarterback at, throw back to the end zone, intercepted, intercepted. It is Baker with a big day. How about two pass deflections, an interception, and two quarterback pressures? Darian Baker, you get the game ball. The look on his face, I would have loved to have seen inside his helmet because he turns around. That is only there. He gets Third blocked. Third interception. Upside, now turns around, and look at this. I'm going to pull this down. I'm surprised he didn't try to get a return out of that. <laughs> Did have a cause fumble last year. Through three Division I schools, Northern Iowa started last year at Western Illinois. Here's Herget with a keeper. Oh, he runs right over an RM. Social media buzz this past week. Good running room to the left side. There's a big hole. Still coming out left. Carter all the way up to the 34-yard line as he's well over 100 yards early in this game to extend the drive, the opening drive that scored. Herget to pass. Throws. Oh, he's way behind Horn cutting over the middle. He was getting pressure, though, at his feet. And lucky to get three in a in-season injury. All the way in motion. 
Back to pass is Tanner, rolling right on third down, and they got him out of bounds. That's going to be a sack. And it was that one of those guys we just brought in there in case the ninth punt of the day. Curdle's got an interception as they were goal to go from the two. And that one only gets to midfield. Now it takes a topple back pro Robert Morris to the 46. And EKU would love to just milk the clock. And con converted quarterback Jackson House at wide receiver. His dad, a professional NFL football coach. Herget throws, caught. West, Jaden West, local Delaware State at home for RMU next week. Montgomery up the middle, and Montgomery may have run the last play of the day. As EKU shows class, doesn't try to put another one in the end zone. And they are going to win this game convincingly from the two-minute warning drive to the end, Jim. They were just dominant. Yeah, just got the offense on track. But I think the defense got fired up and it kind of spurred this team to get started very late in the first half. There you see the great Miami star, Bernard Clark, seventh year head coach at Robert Morris, shaking the hand of Walt Wells, whose record against the brutal schedule here at EKU, two power fives every year, goes over 500 by two. For director Dylan Travis, this is Greg Stottlemyer, along with Jim Tyree and Wes Chandler. We say so long from Richmond, Kentucky, where the Kentucky Lottery final score 